If you've watched any of my success videos, you may have noticed that many of the Parkinson, MS, COPD, IBS, sarcoidosis and other rigidity patients I treat have difficulties with their joints, particularly with hip and shoulder joints. Next, I have an MS patient, Kathy, who appeared to have a frozen shoulder joint, but she didn't. She only had a number of blocked nerves in her trapezius muscle, which I fixed with only a 10 minute nerve massage. Kathy had already spent six months with a physical therapist who did give Kathy a little improvement, but wasn't able to actually solve the problem at hand because none of the natural health colleges are teaching practitioners how to free up nerves to overcome rigidity autoimmune symptoms. None of them. That's one of the major reasons why so many of these rigidity disorders are wrongly classed as incurable. Who told you that you had a frozen shoulder? Um, the physical therapist, the chiropractor, the doctor, and they wanted to operate. They wanted to operate on the shoulder? Yeah, that's so, to you. She did physical therapy for oh, like six months out. and it got as good as it was. So the physical, it was worse before you did the oh, physical therapy? She couldn't do it more I than couldn't lift oh. before. Oh, ah, yeah. okay. How long has it been? since you, this froze, shoulder's been frozen? Eight months. Eight months. How high are you able to lift it before you feel it's seizing up? I can go up and not to the side. So you can go up yeah. that way as that high way. as you want? Yeah. And then lift it up to the side. All right, so now I want you to relax your arm in my hand. This is where the problem is, it's tension at this point, all I can see that it, it is tension. So what I want you to do is I want you to release the tension to me. Now lift your arm off my hand. All right. So now you're lifting it higher than what? For how long has it been since you lifted that high? Um, eight months. Eight months since you've lifted it that high, and that's just because I'm pressing on this muscle that's so tight, it it feels like a a, a carnival circus c cable from the tent. Alright, so now I'm pushing again, lift that up, right up to you. See that? See the difference? Yeah. Alright, now this time I'm going to take my hand off that muscle. I want, no, I want you to leave this relaxed and just lift the arm from the shoulder. That's it, lift it higher, lift it, there you go. You see the difference? Yeah. How long has it been since you've been on lifted that high? Eight months. Eight months. It appears now that you don't have a frozen shoulder, doesn't it? And that's what I was saying to you yesterday when I did the massage because it didn't feel like it when I massaged your shoulders and your neck. I'm still getting physical therapy bills. It was three it times a week for months. You, and you're was still like getting physical therapy bills for working on the shoulder just to get it to there. To right there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And it was 45 minutes, three times a week. This is day three of your treatment program. Each day, I'm helping you overcome one by one those symptoms, aren't, aren't I? Yes. All right? And I shouldn't say me, because it's you that's doing all the hard work. And it, is, it isn't easy at times, is yep. it? No. But you're really happy with having to put the work Sweetly. in, aren't you? Because you're getting results. Yes. So we've blown the frozen shoulder thing out of the water. Yep. That's another thing out the way. Yeah. For this. You won't stop doing it now. I can't believe it. <laughs> you can't believe it. I can't believe it. So I worked it. so hard to get to here. Just to there. Yeah.
This is going to be easy for you if you get your mind right. You can do this. Now that she's just realigned your C1, your C2 and your C5, you can do this now. It's just a matter of keeping your mind on it and letting go sufficiently. So don't let the thought that someone has told you you've got a frozen shoulder make you convince yourself that you have got a frozen shoulder when you haven't. You have freedom and I want you to have freedom from your mind first and flow it into your body and be free. These rigidity autoimmune disorders are not incurable, providing therapists are willing to learn new concepts in natural health that enable us to find all the body's breakdown factors responsible for every symptom experienced and using a completely new treatment approach that focuses on the patient as an emotional being and the intricate condition of hormones, nerves and muscles that enable us to function the way we want. The naturopathic system that's taught in natural therapy colleges at the moment is absolutely useless when it comes to the treatment of rigidity autoimmune disorders and I personally believe this is why there are so many of these autoimmune disorders wrongly considered incurable. The assessment skills in particular that are taught at naturopathic colleges reveals absolutely nothing in relation to the causal factors involved with the onset of rigidity autoimmune symptoms.